gentlemen, welcome back to another reaction video where today we're going to be reacting to Steven Spielberg vs. Alfred Hitchcock. Now, before I get into the reaction, I want to say I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. I, I didn't post for a few days just because it was Christmas. I was I was quite busy. So um, yeah, I'm going to get back into my reactions now. Um, so I don't know much about Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, I know he produced like kind of horror flicks right um and then obviously i know a bit about steven spielberg kind of everyone knows steven spielberg now um if i had to bet money on who i think is going to win this i'm going to bet on steven spielberg mainly because i know more of what steven spielberg's produced and done um so yeah let's just get straight into the reaction guys uh i hope you enjoyed but before we get into the reaction like and subscribe uh let's go Steven Spielberg versus Alfred Hitchcock. Yes. Picture a child sitting next to a projector, learning from your films to become a much better director. Now, so that's kind of like he's already kind of giving props to Alfred Hitchcock, saying Alfred Hitchcock inspired him to become what he's become. But he's also saying he's better. So picture a three billion dollar dream machine who can block us all over your crop just to see. Try to do with me, Alfred. You must be psycho. I'll bring back jobs to take a bite of your life, bo. I'm always so on top of Okay, that's just film Steven Spielberg's done. My game, I get the vertigo, my jets in the terminal, waiting for me to murder you. I rock the academy and the DGA. You rock as many Oscars as that slap Michael Bay. Hey. I'm here filling up those towel with three steaks and souffle. Check the trade, see me able to my next big play. I produce cartoons and make games for all. Yeah, if there's one thing Steven Spielberg is, it's diverse. I mean, some of the games he's made, well, not him personally, obviously, he's made, but um, some of the games he's helped make are mm, a bit questionable, but they are they are still decent games, most of them. Produce Jimmy Stewart making one of two faces. Maybe next time I visit, you'll be a bit more gracious. I'll kiss my full moon and just bask in my greatness. A close encounter of the turd. Yeah, okay, that was a bit. That was a bit much. It's only a battle, Stephen. Come on. Kind. But there won't be a pretty ending this time. Half your billions should go to John Williams. Now, fresh. John Williams is uh, who does the music for most of Steven Spielberg's work, and he is by far one of the greatest producer, uh, musical producers of all time. Uh, if you need a theme for a movie, he will do. He will make you a good one. Yourself as I reveal my. And yeah, I think people do attribute a lot of Steven Spielberg's success to the music, uh, which is obviously done by John Williams. So that's a that's pretty good. This actually as well. <laughs> More horrible than Megan Fox's acting in Transformers. Yeah, that was pretty famously bad. Um, but that's also not made by Steven Spielberg. That's that was made by Michael Bay, so it's kind of less of a diss towards Albert, uh, Steven Spielberg, I think. The fears up. I squeeze screams out of chocolate syrup. On the ah, yes. Back. You know that famous scene where they're in the shower, uh, and it cuts him. Uh, starts with the knife. It's he. So you guys know what scene I'm talking about, probably. Um, they didn't use bl fake blood. They used chocolate syrup as blood. Um. And yeah, it's a very famous scene, and even I know that with my limited knowledge of Alfred Hitchcock. Um, so yeah, he does squeeze dreams out of chocolate syrup. Yeah, the last Indiana Jones was was not good. I don't know where they were going with alien skulls. Give me a Tylenol. Stop rhyming, y'all. Alfred, you got no style, dog. I'm the king of dialogue. There's only one movie. I where know this come from? <laughs> Behind a camera, damage found a rose and haunt you like the last Indiana. Give me a Tylenol, stop rhyming, y'all. Alfred, you got no style, dog. I'm the king of dialogue. King of dialogue. I think that's Quentin Tarantino. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's only one movie I know you're from, and I've seen more blood in the shower and a stubborn toe. And tried to fight in World War One, but couldn't do that. The British Army wouldn't let you join because you were too fat. Look it up, it's a true. Ooh, Alfred Hitchcock is under fire right now. I'm I'm also 100 percent sure this is definitely Quentin Tarantino because the the background visuals make me think of him. Back Wikipedia that now allow me to attack Stephen the Hack. Do the War of the Worlds of failures when I label you and look God. like some. I completely forgot War of the Worlds existed. But bullshit, Michael Bay would do. Ask 
anybody. What's your favorite Sam Jackson part? No one's gonna say. What's his name from Jurassic Park? Did I write ain't the okay. Quentin Tarantino is coming at both of them right now. And by far, this is... I think this is the best verse so far. When I grip mics, I'm the mean. Quentin Tarantino is a genius. A bad motherfucker. Yeah, the wildest of the penis. Okay, right, are we going to do guess the director here? Are we going through, like, all the directors in Hollywood? Are they all about to go up against it? Because we're only two minutes in, and this is a four-minute video. Um, let me see. Can I guess who this is? Okay, we're in space, and he's on a, a tricycle or something. Um, moon. Stanley, Kru Stanley Kubrick. That's who that is. Genius is a powerful word, but there's no reason to use it unless you're talking about the Kubrick. Then there's Kubrick, really yeah. Stanley Kubrick. If, if you want, if you're into conspiracy theories, people think he faked the moon landing. He helped NASA fake the moon landing. So fun fact of that. Um, I personally don't believe that, but. Some people do. There's nothing to it. Everything I do is visionary. Every single frame of painting made exactly how I wanna make. Yeah, he's really famous for um doing a lot of takes. He wants it exactly how he pictures it. Do another take and get it right. 127 times. I imagine he's done a take 127 times. Make you learn to love me. I'm the bomb. Drop both your violent rhymes like clockwork. Make you all hurt. Beats Spielberg the color purple. AI is the worst waste of potential. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he likes futuristic stuff. Oh, we got someone else coming in now as well. Helicopter. Enough crap from all of you. Yeah. When I come down there and show you what a real star can do. I swore blow with the telephoto. No Bruckheimer, I work solo. If there's one thing I've learned, bitch, this game is about motherfucking money. Coming in from a helicopter, explosion in the background, shouting about money. This is Michael Bay. I make that dollar, you motherfucking money. Even make Mark Wahlberg make some motherfucking money. You know, controversial thing. I don't mind the Michael Bay movies. I think they're visually spectacular. Um, the story is sometimes pretty awful, but he also does do good stories sometimes. You just kind of have to dig through the stuff. Um, but yeah, I actually quite like um, Michael Bay. Jesus Christ. Um, oh my God, who won? Um, this is probably the toughest decision I've had to make on a who on an epic round bounce of history of who won. So we've got five people. We've got Alfred Hitchcock, Stanley Kubrick, um, Steven Spielberg, Michael Bay, and Quentin Tarantino. Who had the best verse? Ah. I... I almost want to say Michael Bay because it was so comedic. Um, didn't mean to, sorry. But I'm going to give it to Quentin Tarantino because he came in straight from the gate and attacked Stephen and Alfred, the people before him. And he had a little diss at Michael Bay as well in there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that one to Quentin Tarantino. Uh, if you disagree with me, please let me know in the comments. Um, I did like... With this, with this battle, I did like that they had more people on it, but I wish they had kind of like a separate title card at the beginning to point out, because it, it's fortunate that I, I know quite a bit about directors, because I enjoy researching about them, um, and I, I do enjoy watching films a lot, so I had a bit of knowledge there, but to some people, I, I guess that would have been quite difficult to guess who, who everyone was. Uh, so some title cards at the beginning of each verse would have been nice, but um, the actual battle itself was really good uh, Now, please like comment and subscribe if you want to see more um, Go subscribe to ERB link to the original video and the channel will be in the description. Please go check them out And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you for watching